myself, Professor Lau Patel from Indian Institute of Engineering and Technology, Auto Valley Department. So today we are going to learn about different numericals that how our actual vehicle dynamic subject is going to help to calculate such type of calculation based on the performance of our vehicle or individual components like braking, suspension, acceleration, traction. So these are the basic parameters that can be calculated with help of such uh, some kind of equations. And uh, today we are going to solve one of the type of that equation. So in today's lecture, we will see about the numerical that is based on the different registers. Okay, while the vehicle is in motion, we all know that there are several forces that are acting upon my vehicle, like due to that road, like uh, how the road, uh, how much uh, gradient is there in my road condition or uh, different air velocities, like at different speed we will find different air resistance. So air resistance is there, rolling resistance is there. So there are several multiple resistance that are applied on my vehicle while my vehicle is in moving condition. So based on that resistance, we are the so we are going to solve one of the uh, numerical that, that is based on the different types of resistance and to overcome that resistance, uh, so, uh, how much amount of tractive effort that I am going to require to pull over these forces. So based on these one numerical is there, so we are going to solve such kind of numerical. So till today, we have completed the, all the theories of subject, subject vehicle dynamics and now onwards we are focusing on the several numericals that are helpful for future calculations or to better understanding of this subject. Uh, see, see uh, uh, several last several years, three to four years, uh, there are no numericals in the GTO exam but it might helpful to your future or to uh, understand the subject better. So let us start with the numerical that is based on the registers. So in the one example has been given in which you can see that the passenger car with gross mass of 1100 kg. First M mass has been has given like 1100 kg. In some numerical it has been given in Newton also. But uh, basically we can convert that 1100 kg into Newton by multiplying with G that is 9.8. So kg or Newton force that has been given uh, either of one has been given for your numerical. So 1100 kg mass is there traveling at 80 km per hour. So velocity V capital V has given like 80 km per hour and that is accelerated up to a gradient of 1 in 20. So here gradient uh, is there and that is 1 in 20. So we are going to take capital G that is 1 by 20. Okay, so gradient is there. Uh, in some numericals you won't find any gradient. So for that you need to eliminate this gradient. So you have to take rho is in level. So here capital G that is 1 by 20 and the vehicle has a frontal area of 1.9 meter square and a resistance coefficient of 0.0268. So frontal area has been given like 1.9 meter square. So from the front, the air is coming from that area, strikes through that 1.9 meter square area and that particular air resistance coefficient that is 0.0268. So we are going to take Ka that is coefficient that is 0.026. Double A and the frontal media capital A that is 1.9 meter square. The rolling resistance is given by 0.012 into m into g plus 0 0.00006 into mgb. So here one equation that has been given to solve that rolling resistance and in that particular equation you will find different terms like m and g. So here m that is in uh, that is mass and that is also in kg but in uh, Newton or in other unit uh, example you will find direct into n so uh, instead of m into g you will find capital n or that particular equation that is in solve uh, 
uh, formation. So this is particular equation for my rolling resistance at which you can see that the V is in kilometer per hour. That is my speed. Also M is in kg. Okay, and now 80 kilometer per hour, the engine develops 60 kilowatt power. So we can say that the brake power that is 60 kilowatt and that is corresponding to the speed of 4400 rpm. So capital M that is 4400 rpm. And rear acceleration that is 5m1. So this one ratio has been given. Also transmission efficiency is 95%. So overall transmitted power uh, from engine to that will that is 95%. So efficiency and T that is my 0.95 or 95%. And the wheel radius that is 0.335 meters. So RW that is 0.335 meters. So this is my primary data and according to that I have to find the total resistance due to this kind of uh, resistance like graded resistance is there, rolling resistance is there and also the third RA right. So these three resistance are there. So we are we need total resistance and to overcome that total resistance we need to find a tractive effort that is available at the wheel. So these two problems I have to find. First is the total resistance and the second is the tractive effort to overcome such kind of resistance. So for that we have one basic formula that is total tractive resistance. So the total tractive resistance that is the total of three types of resistance like rolling resistance is there, gradient resistance is there and air resistance is there. So the total three resistance that has been given us total tractive resistance. So ultimately I have to find RR, RA and RG. So let us begin with the first resistance that is my RA that is air resistance. So for that we know the formula for air resistance that is Ka into A into B square. Here again Ka that is the coefficient of air resistance that is 0, 0.0. To 6 double A, that is my frontal area at which the air is going to strike, that is 1.9 meter square, and the velocity of the vehicle that is 80 km per hour. So, after solving that, what will we get? We get RA that is air resistance that is 326.86 Newton. So, this is my first data at which I have uh, already find about air resistance that is RA. Moving further. We have to find the second resistance that is my gradient resistance. So for that gradient resistance M into G that is my uh, mass into gravitational force or I can directly say N value if the input is given in force form. So M into G into capital G. So capital G is the ratio that is 1 by 20 that is gradient that I have already given in our data. So after solving this I can find that total gradient resistance that is 539 meter. So the second resistance is RG 539 meter. And the third one that is my rolling resistance. So for that rolling resistance, we have one equation that has been given in our question. In that, I have to put some values like M that is 1100 kg, G is 9.8, V is 80. So after solving this equation, these particular equations are given in your questions also, uh, question only. So by solving this uh, equation, you will find 172.48 Newton that is my rolling resistance. So ultimately I have uh, found three resistance, gradient resistance, rolling resistance and air resistance. So finally I need to sum these three resistance and after these three resistance, what will I get? I get total tractive resistance that is RT that is 326.86 plus 539 plus 172.48 so total is 1038.34 Newton so that is my total resistance due to these three types of resistance or due to that particular condition that has been given in our example so according to uh, this, uh, this question we will find total tractive resistance. In some numerical you will find or you will miss either of one resistance. So anybody you can go with 
the given data like if a resistance is not given so ultimately you can write a tractive resistance is rg plus r so either of one missing uh, so ultimately you can get from this equation okay so now i can find total resistance that is uh, 1038.34 newton that is my first answer moving further for tractive effort that available at will so for that i have an equation that is that can say that the break power into efficiency of that transmission that is nt into 3600 by velocity so if the transmission efficiency is not given in the equation so ultimately you have to take 100% but if it can if it is 95% so you have to put it in our equation so finally solving this equation you can see that the break power that is 60 so 60 into 0.95 into 3600 by 80 so after solving this equation what will i get i get tractive effort that is 2565 newton so this is my tractive effort so this is my second answer that can say that the tractive effort available at the wheels so that is 2565 2565 newton so this is the basic method to find uh, the effect of different resistances and total resistances and how to overcome or how much tractive effort that is required at each wheel or at different wheels to overcome these resistances so based on this numerical you will able or you can able to solve such kind of equation so that is all for today thank you